So what did I say parallel was? Do you remember that? So parallel is essentially uh, two lines that if you were going to keep running, let's say you're going to run this line up forever and run this line up forever and run this line down forever, run this line down. Uh, parallel means those will never touch. They will never touch. They will never intersect. Uh, but that's what parallel is. If you like learning a little bit about drawing every single day, uh, do uh, hit that subscribe button. When you subscribe, it's gonna let you know when I post. Uh, I post three beginner drawing lessons every single weekday. So Monday through Friday. So that's gonna be 15 drawing lessons in a week. Um, it's not gonna overwhelm your feed if you do subscribe. It's probably only gonna tell you about every third video, I'm sure. Uh, but you are gonna learn a lot no matter what. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. Helps the algorithm out here for us. Uh, as far as for you, it's completely free. There's no downside to it at all. And if you find my work worth your time, please consider subscribing. Uh, one little note I will say, if you wanna learn, like, you know, if you're more hardcore and you really, really wanna get into this whole art thing, like hardcore, uh, I have entire courses uh, on Skillshare. So Skillshare is a community of different artists. Uh, it's a bunch of different programs of different things, but I have tons of programs on there. I basically have how to draw the head from scratch, how to draw the eye, how to draw anime, how to draw um, the musculature, how to do perspective. All that stuff is on my Skillshare. And right now you can get all that stuff free uh, when you sign up to Skillshare through that link in my description. That link in my description gives you Skillshare for two weeks completely free. Um, and you know, you'll see everything on there completely free for two months. So go check that link out. The only problem is you have to find that link in my description. Uh, that's it, there's a lot of links in my description that you gotta dig through it. But if you can, check that out. Um, you know, if that's your thing, by the way, that's not everybody's thing. Uh, some people just wanna stick to, to, you know, like simpler drawings and just being chill about it. So right now I'm gonna imagine a line that goes across here. Imagining an invisible line in my mind, I'm kind of connecting it up. Same thing over here on this side, imagining uh, kind of like an invisible line, but I'm drawing another of these same shapes, but I want it to all look like it's intersecting. I'm gonna draw a parallel line on this side, parallel to this. Then go down here and draw another parallel line here. Now I'm gonna draw a straight line downward Draw a straight line downward. Straight line up. And I'm gonna cap off the end of all these. So for example, I'm gonna do this on this side. This on this side. This on this side. So we have one end of that snowflake. I'm gonna go over here. I could probably do this on all of them first. That probably might be easier uh, in general. So I'm gonna draw this kind of spread out line at the end of all of these. So, let's 
gonna come outward out of all of these. I'm gonna draw a straight line here. Like so. So essentially this shape, I'm gonna put across all of them. That's essentially my goal. And it, as long as it's close enough, it's completely fine. You're not a machine, right? You don't wanna, you're not a robot. It's okay. It's gonna look, it'll be fine. And so what I do is I, I, I think about it as in like these little steps where I'm drawing each piece by piece to see like, like that same shape to see if that would work.